talking about how to achieve a nine meter long jump. First, a few estimations. Let's say we have a jumper who is uh, 1.8 to 1.9 meters tall. Uh, first, the difference in height of the center of mass at takeoff and touchdown, we're estimating at 60 centimeters. Then we're estimating the takeoff distance to be 40 centimeters and the landing distance to be 40 centimeters. So we need the center of mass to travel 8.2 meters during flight. A couple examples of how that could be accomplished. Uh, one, we got 9.1 meters per second horizontal flight speed. Okay, to get 8.2 meters, we would need 0 0.90 seconds in the air. Uh, we do a little math, we find out that that would require a 69 centimeter uh, vertical jump. Okay, uh, another example, this would be a very high flight speed. Uh, 10 meters per second, that's going to require 0.82 seconds in the air, and that would come from a 52.5 centimeter vertical jump. So at first glance, uh, these numbers might seem kind of doable, right? Because these vertical jumps are not super high. Uh, what makes the 9 meter long jump so unattainable is the speed requirement, right? So if we have uh, this much speed uh, after takeoff, and we got this much pop, you're probably going to have to approach at about 10.5 meters per second, okay? And to approach that fast and then be able to jump this high, you're probably going to have to be capable of sprinting close to 12 meters per second. Now, same thing over here. Uh, this is not as much of a vertical pop, but to have this much speed in the air, you're still going to have to be approaching uh, probably close to 11 meters per second, okay? And to approach that fast and get this much pop, you're probably going to have to be capable of sprinting close to 12 meters per second. So this brings me to my point that the reason that we're mostly long jumping under 8.5 meters is because we don't have enough of our fastest athletes long jumping. Okay, I think we got lots of guys who probably run maybe like 10.3, 10.5, and 100. Uh, we need some 10.0, some sub 10 long jumpers. Okay, uh, so if you're a long jumper, look at your flying 20. All right. If you can get that down to maybe like 1.70 seconds, then you're going to be the type of jumper that could challenge the world record. Now, one more point. If we have a taller jumper, that's going to increase uh, some of these distances that we estimated, right? Um, and that's going to decrease the speed and the vertical pop requirements to get that 9 meter long jump. All right. So if we look at Usain Bolt, the guy was almost 2 meters tall. And in his prime, he sprinted 12.3 meters per second. All right, Bolt could have been a nine meter long jumper.